Hey guys, how's it going? Stephanie Ani coming to you from Concord, California. It's probably about quarter to ten on the tenth. Um, your video is ready for tomorrow, and that's going to be the part two of the ticket, um, ticket booth. Oh, words, words are not coming. It's been a very busy day today. It really, truly has. Um, I went and got the windshield changed. That was expensive. Jeez, four hundred dollars. So here's here's the thing. I went on Yelp and they said write a message to you know to get a quote. And so I wrote a message to get a quote. And then Yelp has this thing where it says, "Would you like to send the same message to these you know competing <laughs> companies?" I'm like, "Huh, you're gonna do the shopping for me? Okay, I'll do it." So I send in this. I, I'm sorry, I'm digressing a little bit. That I send in this 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 mass email to 10 different companies. I get 10 different responses. All of them are asking me for the same thing, saying, um, where are, um, uh, you know, do you have, do you have the rain sensor? I think I talked about this in the last video. I'm going to have a drink here. It's been a long day. It's martini <laughs> on the rocks. Um, I digress. Uh, oh, hey, I've got a new subscriber. Hey, guys, so so cool for you to show up. Awesome. That is my first cocktail, by the way. <laughs> I just spaced out. I needed to settle. Um, digressing. Where was that? Oh, so I send out this this mass email. Then they all come back and say, you know, what, what things do you have? And I say, well, I have the lane sensor, but I do not have the rain sensor. And where is the lane sensor located? Is it in the windshield or do I have to worry about this? And then they all come back and they say, well, give us the VIN number. So I give them the VIN number. They all call the same Mazda dealership because I found that out from the the person that I went with who was the least expensive and they were completely awesome. Uh, they did an excellent job and I need to write a review for them. But um, half of them were saying that I had to buy the uh, $800 windshield. They were going to charge me between eight and $900. And I was able to get the windshield for 300 and oh, I got new wiper blades too. So I think it was 380 out the door. So do your shopping, do your shopping, know what you're, know what you're doing, do your research, try to figure it out because this whole lane sensor thing was really throwing me off, but I was looking at the part online. I'm like, how could that be in a windshield? That part can't be in a windshield. It's like a metal box. It's got to go somewhere else. And then I'm looking to see how to install it or how to change it and trying to figure out where this thing's located at to see if changing out the windshield without the sensor in it would affect anything. And I have a new windshield and it works perfectly. <laughs> Long story short, I was able to go with the least expensive place and the guy rocked. It was so cool. And now I've really digressed and I've wasted time. But while they were doing the windshield, I was going shopping for you guys. And I was working on new packs. Remember how I said the napkin pack? Well, I think I want to expand that because just napkins is boring. We want more than just napkins. We would love some pieces of maps. And we would love some sewing patterns from the 70s and 80s in there. And, 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 and whatever else I can figure out to put in it. So that's going to be a new kit coming up. Um, probably around the same price range as the last one. I have one kit left. Thank you so much, you guys. You are so awesome. Uh, if you're interested in that, go on my Etsy store and pick it up. Um, I will be working on getting a new kit together. Not going to be the same as the old kit, but it'll be cool. And I guarantee it. And I might actually try to combine the ephemera quit kit and this kit and uh, found some great music too. Found so much cool stuff. I need to stop buying. Anyway, we're doing a new video here. We're still working on the six page fold and flip. It's going awesome. Um, I did decide to go and buy uh, some more of these uh, in this style. But you'll notice uh, in yesterday's video that I was playing with this style and that the cord isn't long enough. I need these tassels since they're big fatties to hang. 
They're big fatties and they need to hang lower. <laughs> God. Seriously, I've had two sips. That's it. Anyways, so, um, <laughs> I went out and bought some more of these guys. Instead of the wimpy guys, I got the big guys. Um, because they have longer strings and they can hang lower out the book. <laughs> you guys know I'm not boring, right? I'm, I stay, oh, but I was, I was, I was getting very angry at the book yesterday. You'll have to forgive my, um, yelling at the book because, <sighs> That was a frustrating layout, that ticket booth. That was frustrating. Anyways, your prize. Prize edition for this next uh, um, video. I'm gonna round out your paper experience. This is another 25 sheets of paper. Um, that one has some cool things. This has some good numbers on it. Um, Oh, come back here. This actually has newsprint on it. It's very cool. You put some sort of shimmer over that and it'd be great. This one I really like. I mean, that can be a background on its own. These you can easily cut out and layer things over the top of them. Um, some words, some strips of pretty paper. I mean, it's just scrapbook paper, but it is paper. I mean, I use that paper in my junk journals. So it's stuff that I use. Uh, this is a little bit lighter weight. And then, then to make up your 25, I did add in, um, this is heavier weight, I think six or seven pages of the Tim Holtz paper. This is really nice stuff. Um, Double-sided. I love this paper. It's one of my favorites. And I'm giving you a piece of it. I'm giving you my stash. This, I think this is from the scar boxes. This would make a great background. So would that, actually. I love that uh, old-fashioned style. Um, this guy. And then the shirts. And some grid paper on this side. And look at rulers. I love rulers. And then some more coolie dudes here. And here, I love these guys sitting here. And this guy, oh, yeah, he's pretty cool. There's a bicycle guy on there. There's all sorts of fun things on there. And the nice thing, again, you can use those little uh, two inch squares and kind of cut them up and layer stuff with them. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that rounds out the paper. I will be not, I, I will not be giving you any more um, scrapbook or cardstock. You will have a great stash built up off of this. Uh, you know, you can always go through and cut out the, the letters like, you know, like the serial killers would. That'd be cool. Okay, guys, I've been chatting long enough. A chatty catty. Chatty Kathy, isn't it? What did my hair look like? It was getting in my face. It was annoying the heck out of me today. So I got home and I just wrapped it up and stuck it on top of my head. Had to wear a bra today. That sucked. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. It's not that big a deal. It's just one of those annoying things in life. You should know that. Women don't like to wear bras. They're uncomfortable. Unless they're like magic women. And magic women don't mind wearing bras. Right? Okay, guys. I'm going to get to work here. I'm going to put some... Uh, some rivets, some dangling things, tassels, <laughs> whatever the hell they are. I need some human interaction. <laughs> I'm going a little crazy. All right, guys, we'll chat soon. Thanks for all the support. Um, new subscribers be sure to let me know who you are give me your name down in the comments and you get entered into the drawing one name gets drawn out of the whole hat and it could be your name so please 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 welcome and uh, have a great evening we'll chat soon <laughs> bye hi guys okay i just got the um 
all this uh, 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 gosh, ink done, all the edging done here, here, and on all the stencils with the crackle paste. So I decided to switch out the one that was unraveling. This one is okay. Uh, you know, I'm not going to have an unraveling one in there. All right, as you know, with all the rivets, you just make your hole punch. Stick the rivet in there. Ribbit. Ribbit. And you take that guy, you take the little pointy end, you stick it under, and you smush it together. Ta-da! And this particular uh, rivet set is listed on my Amazon links. Uh, I do have the crop. The crapodile. <laughs> I have the crapodile, but the crapodile uh, is only for emergency use only. <laughs> it's emergency use only. Trust me. It's a pain. These guys are, are much more friendly. This will be... Uh, well, let's see. Who should we, what should we call these guys? Sam and Ted. Ted. And Sam. Here we go. Sam and Ted kick butt. They're listed on Amazon. Links. Okay. Um, I'm going to go through... Well, here, I'll show you how I did this one. I had a ex-boyfriend named Sam. Oh, that guy was... Wow. <laughs> he, his name was Samuel. He did not like to be called Sam at all. And he didn't like Samuel at all. So he wanted to be called Mule. And that's what he was called, was Mule. Thank you. 
So I don't know if these are really acting the way that I want them to act anyway. Another option that I had thought of was, um, what about a Brad? You know, I wanted to emulate the flag coming off of here. Crazy stories from the 90s. I guess I would have been, yeah, 91. 90, 91. No. 89. 19. I turned 20 when I moved up there. And then, uh. Dark year. Oh, that's not good. Oh, you a hole. Really? Pulling off my S. Don't need to fix that. I need to go to bed, guys. All right. Well, that's been a long story. I'm going to finish this up in the morning, and then I'm going to start putting on the images. I might pull these off for now. Uh, I don't love them. I thought I would love them a lot more. I don't. That was an expenditure. <laughs> We're going 
going to be able to fold at all. We're just going to have to work it. And it's definitely adding another fat section to our book. We're not even to the big top yet. Oh my gosh. So I should have pushed this as far out as I could have. I wonder if it'll still come apart. Wouldn't have been able to do that for too much longer. <laughs> I hit a deer on the road. I think I was 17 years old, so I'm pretty well aware that there are deer on the road, on these roads. You know, they're just everywhere. That's part of being a mountain girl, you know, you know. And then you're traveling along water, which we were, and it's dark that there's a good chance this was up in summertime we were up there he's helping me get my car my brand new car he's following behind me i'm driving his car in front he's driving the new van and he's riding me so hard he's just right on my butt and i'm like why are you following so close you know i know that there's deer on this road i know that there's a dang good chance that there's going to be one that pop pops out right in front of us and it did my brand new vehicle that didn't have a scratch on it now has a dent on it and the door, the passenger door never worked properly again. And uh, he killed the front tail light and slammed into the back of his own car. Like, why were you following so close? Well, I was trying to get you to hurry up. I'm like, dude. <laughs> hmm. These things we do. Those things that we think are the right things to do. I continued to make mistakes like that throughout my life. I can't say that was the only time that I stayed with somebody who was controlling and overbearing, because I sure as heck did it again. And I stayed with someone who was completely apathetic for four years, too. Which that would have been the time I probably would have you know, been able to have a child. Actually, it was the 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 one in the middle was the worst. He was a bad, bad person. Ex husband was a pretty crappy person too. Be nice to find a good man. Had some crappy luck that way. Known some good guys, but you know, they're generally not interested in having an actual relationship, so that one folds well. It's a little better. Just trying to Free up space in there. We'll get those other two tents in there and it'll be even worse than it is now. Okay, I'm going to uh, put a book on this here, I think. This is going to be my best bet. Still wanting to come up a little bit. Let that dry. Alright guys, we're at an hour. I've been fighting this, so... See, the, it's, the glue doesn't come up when there's not, uh, when it's full. It's so strange. Mod Podge. New jar from Mod Podge. I don't know what that jar was from originally. Hot fudge, maybe, or something. Not my hot fudge. Okay, guys. Sleep well.
Hello, 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 artists. I'm back. Well, I have everything glued in properly. Painted. So here was the deal about the tassels. The bulk of the tassels wouldn't allow it to close. Here we have a really good closure and I think I'm going to put um, a tie on here from here to here. Take my crop a dial, my crap a dial and uh, maybe see if I can't. I wonder if, if it will allow me to get into there. I really did uh, massage these corners over. Uh, I did whatever I could. If you see here, it's, it's taking up a lot of space. So before you do this at home, make this tent smaller and maybe this tent bigger, kind of offset the sizes of the tent, at least to go towards the very back. Um, you know, I looked at possibly taking part of this off of here, um, you know, so that it would close better. I mean, this book is going to sit like this when it is done. There is just no doubt about it. This guy, um, <laughs> I want to do a trapeze artist. I want to do the woman. Uh, the horsewomen, the the ringleader. I want to do some animals. I don't want to do. I don't want to do too much on the animals because you know they were treated so badly. So this book is going to be uh, something kind of monstrous <laughs> when it's done. Uh, you know, part of me thinks I should. You know. I still don't know what to quite put in the front here, and I'll probably put some advertisements over the top of this guy here. Maybe I will put some more of this paper now that I went and purchased more of the bags. That would be kind of cool. Um, it's feeling like it wants to come up there a little bit, put a little bit of glue in there. Um, this is where the uh, thing fell off of here. Of course, I have a pin under my foot somewhere. This, I don't think this will ever really spin again. Um, I did put some slats in it to try to um, get it to kind of fold up. I still need to work on that some more. Uh, the shakers all seem to be stuck today. <laughs> of course. But we put a lot of pressure on it. So, um, you know, with having, yeah, it shakes better once the tents are open here instead of closed. Okay, so what I'm going to do next, actually, I don't think I'm going to do it tonight. I am I am tired tonight. I'm just kind of exhausted. So um, I need to choose images. That's going to be my main order of business, first order of business. Uh, for this next part, and uh, oh, 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 are we stuck? Nope, we're not stuck. Don't really know how it's going to work with the um, stencils underneath of it. Um, it. Of course, you know the stencils will give us some ridge lines, so we're going to have to see um, if we need to back the images with other paper or what we need to do with that. But here is your six page. Let's see if I can get all you in here. Six tent. Flip and fold. <laughs> it's pretty cool, huh? So when they're all up, there you have the outsides of the tent. So we've repeated the big top from the front page. Except this is more along the midway side, I guess. 
Ta-da! I love the colors. I think they just turned out beautiful. So I'm, I'm super happy with how it's coming along. Uh, I still might try to think about... I would love to do some sort of little flag from it. But it, it's got to be much smaller. The, you know, these things were just a little bit too, too much anyway. They're too new. They're too bright and shiny. Um, so I've got a bunch of those laying around now. <laughs> okay, well, that's the update chat. And um, we'll come back tomorrow. I put a little bit of white... Um, white gelato in here and and then and then I'm gonna paint it with a little bit of the purple oh pretty that purple on top of that white is amazing beautiful color combination actually um, where's my other I'm going to knock everything off of my desk. It just keeps getting piled higher, guys. It, it really, truly does. Let's put a little bit of the blue in here. And then I will come in. I'll do this to the other side, too. I need to set that paint. or that crayon, whatever you want to call it, it needs to be set. Mod Podge does a great job of setting things, in my opinion, and I like the look that it gives us at the end. I just kind of took off some of the paint there, didn't I? Let's put a little bit of this other blue in there. Crayons are out here. Guess we'll use the green because it's in my hand. Yeah, it works just fine. I want the blue. Okay, I'm going to do the same to this side here. Not quite as noticeable, but this we have backed here, so um, yeah, we want to have a nice transition between the two. And that's a very perfect transition between the two tints. See, it doesn't shut. And I've considered taking out more signatures. Uh, it's more here that I have the issue with it. Not here. Well, a little bit there. But if I put some sort of string from here to here and tied it, I think that would be actually a cool element anyway. Um, you know, kind of opening this gift of tents, I think would be a really cool thing. So that's also something I'm working on constructing. You guys can come back down here now. Sorry about that. 
Okay, uh, that's all I know for tonight. I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. We'll chat soon.